Hi everyone. Uh, I was going to do a post, a video about my bedroom today because I have bought a new bed. It's amazing. Look, do you know what? I don't even want to show you because I want to reveal it in its full glory when it's ready. And I thought that it'd be ready today. Um, I bought some linen for it. So I saw this bed. Oh, look, let's give you a little flash. I'm going to give you a close up flash. I bought this bed after seeing it on Instagram. It's from Soho Home and it's called the Manette Bed. And it is just absolutely beautiful. Um, and I would never normally pick this colour. It's not a colour that figures in my palette of colours I like for interiors. But it, I just, I saw it and I fell in love with it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So it's here. It's been delivered. And then I had the hot look at that cording. Can you see that with the different colours in? Hold on. Just the attention to detail is beautiful. Then I had the dilemma of knowing what kind of colour linen to put with it. Obviously, it's not like, you know, the worst dilemma in the world to have. Um, and I bought a load of stuff from the Secret Linen Company, Secret Linen Store. I think that I found out about these people through Lily Pebbles, actually. Pretty sure it was. Uh, but they do really gorgeous bed linen. And I went for this sort of coffee and cream stripe. So anyway, I was going to show you the bed today, but not a lot of the stuff's here. And then I thought maybe I should just do a bedroom tour once I've decorated and got the bits and bobs that I need and bedside tables and things like that. So I'm going to film my lipsticks video instead. Really, I should have just started this video at my makeup table and said, this is going to be a lipsticks video. But for some insane reason, I felt the need to describe my whole life story to you. So that's weird. Anyway, let's go, let's go and do some luxury lipsticks, shall we? So there will be an interiors video soon, but today we're doing lipsticks from linens to lipsticks. I've just been putting on this, uh, which is really, look at my cheekbones. So there's no shimmer on them. It's just like a gloss. It's like a, I know this isn't a lipstick, by the way, I haven't gone mad, um, but I found this in the lipsticks samples bag. I must have just bunged it all in together because I'm careful like that. So it's the transparent, um, what is it called? Multi-use glow stick from Chanel. And it's the kind of thing that's like not that massively exciting if you're really into colour makeup and glitter and like Instagram makeup shine and stuff like that. But if you're just into natural makeup like me, um, this is really nice. It's nothing like a normal highlighter. It's really intensely moisturising and, I don't know, it's a bit like putting a slick of Vaseline on, but, but nicer. Funny enough, I was at a hotel with Caroline Hyrons the other week and she had a pixie stick that was very like this. So I must do a little comparison for you. Hopefully this is um, not limited edition because that's actually a really nice little thing to pop in your makeup bag if you want grown up glow. I've got a selection of luxury lipsticks. The first one is Rouge Coco Flash. If you're familiar with the normal Rouge Coco lipsticks, they're almost like a, an intense balm. So that really comfortable, nourishing feeling, but with good, good colour payoff, good pigment, but it's nothing too vibrant and, and mad. And I would say that these flash ones, the difference for me is that they have more shine. So it's almost like a gloss that's encapsulated within it. So let's try this one. This is 54, this is Boy. And this is one of the really sort of, um, or on my skin tone anyway, like low key, easy to wear, hint of color, okay? So you can see really high shine, really comfortable. Uh, it's got like a hint of a, a gloss feel to it, but in a lipstick, so no stickiness. Let's try a red. So this red is 66 Pulse. There you go. Really bright. I think that, that works really well. It looks really modern. Ooh. Beat. Let's try beat. The only thing I will say about applying bright colours in these balm type things is that I feel like you do need a more accurate way of applying it than than a sort of rounded bullet. So that's a lot more muted, that one. Thought it was gonna be brighter. I think that I would wear that one more beat. Um, but do you know what I mean about when you've just got 
like a slidey texture um, and a rounded sort of bullet shape. It's really hard to get an accurate line and it's almost like you're not supposed to get an accurate line because you just can't so it dictates the way that you apply it and you end up with this really relaxed kind of effect but it's great if you've got really young lips and a really defined lip line not so good when you can't see where the hell your lip line has gone half the time you've got really bad eyesight Next up, we have the Hourglass Number 28 Lip Treatment Oil. I don't know why it's called Number 28. Shall I try and find out for you? Hold on. This is more of a lip treatment, and I mean it is a serious lip treatment. I've been wearing this and feeling a difference to the condition of my lips afterwards. Which you can't say about many lipsticks, really. I mean, is it a lipstick? I'm not sure whether it is. It's more, it's more of a lip treatment with colour benefits, I don't know, it's expensive, it's £45 for this, um, so it's high, high luxury, so you've got a gold, is that, oh my goodness, 24 karat gold plated um, applicator, something that everybody needs in their life, and then your product comes out at the end like this, I am trying out Cameo, which is a neutral rose, Actually, all of the colours of this oil are reasonably punchy. Which again, I'm not sure is the most ideal scenario when you're trying to put it on with what amounts to a kind of metal shoe. I mean, the applicator feels so cooling and lovely on the lips. But it's not the easiest thing to to spread colour accurately with. The reason I'm telling you about this one, and again, longevity, not particularly great. You know, it's a lip oil, so it's not like it's a matte, long-stay lipstick. The reason I'm telling you about it is because I have been trying it and it just leaves my lips feeling beautiful. So look, if you use Hourglass makeup, you'll know that it's just exemplary. But I think probably some even sheerer colours would be good more neutral, at least for me. Oh, I've just uh, had a little read of the blurb. The 28 refers to the 28 uh, beneficial ingredients. So 14 essential oils, 10 lipid rich plant oils, and four nourishing vitamins. Powerful active ingredients that target the delicate lip area by helping to boost moisture levels, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, and improve the appearance of lip shape. That's a, it is a nice luxury buy, even though, whew, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be appealing to the people that love Hourglass already and that spend that kind of money on their makeup. Crushed Liquid Lip from Bobbi Brown, which is uh, like the pigment of a liquid lipstick in a balm formula. So this one is Hippie Shake. And it's just got the most lovely formula. Uh, a really soft balm, but great pigment. So if you've been wanting to try a liquid lipstick, but you find that they're all very, a lot of them are quite drying over time. So just as the day goes on, they don't come off, they dry, and it's almost like they pull the skin of your lips inwards. And I hate that look. Uh, I mean, they're getting better and better, but when they first came out, oh my God, they used to be so drying. And this one isn't. I mean, you wouldn't you wouldn't put it in the same category as those lipsticks, really, because it doesn't have quite the same longevity. But for a, a, a balm-type product, I think the longevity is actually really, really good. This is a nice shade, the hippie shade. I was using a pink one. Uh, oh, here it is. Much more pink, that one, look. And that's lovely as well. That one is called Peach and Quiet. And it's quite a bubblegummy pink look. But for some reason, I don't feel like it's overpowering or, you know, it's not like those, um, do you remember when Juicy Tubes first came out from Longcom and you had those really pink ones, which I did love, but it was very bubblegum and, whereas this just feels robust, I don't know, robust and more like it's got a bit of substance to it. What do you think? Do you like the pink? Which one do you like out of these? Or do you like both? Time for one more, do you think? 
I don't want to bore you. Oh, I don't want to take this off. See, that's a sign, isn't it, that um, you like something a lot. Okay, so Becca have bought out this range of lipsticks and the idea behind them is that you can find your perfect red and your perfect nude, whatever your skin tone. So this is the ultimate lipstick love. Now this is a completely new trial for me. I haven't tried this before. I'm gonna try and find my perfect neutral. I'm just gonna pop on a bit of lip liner. This is the Topshop lip liner. And I have to say that this lasts an absolute age. Um, I do love the Clinique lip liner, the quick liner intense, but this one I feel has more longevity. So, Becca have got all these different shades. Um, looking at what kind of undertone your skin has and so on, and then finding your perfect shade. I mean, I reckon I'm quite neutral, really. I've got quite a sallow skin undertone, so maybe that's more on the warm side. I'm definitely not pinkish. So maybe a fun thing to do, because God knows you've got nothing else to do today, have you? Maybe a fun thing to do would be for me to try each of them and you tell me which one looks best. Obviously I can't hear you, but it's like a little game you can play from home. And then afterwards, I'll tell you which was the cool tone and which was the warm tone, okay? Fun, fun, fun! So let's go in with the first. Option number one. Can I just say on a, a side note, that that lipstick, Becca lipsticks have always been beautiful, but that lipstick feels as close to perfection in terms of soft, beautiful, smooth texture. I think that you could almost get. I have to say that Clinique lip pops are also pretty perfect, especially for beginners. But this just feels, it's got that creaminess that I love. It's like a classic lipstick creaminess. Right, let's go in with the second. Hold that thought. Okay, so look at what this looks like. Oh, not quite my shade, is it? I think you're gonna guess which one was which, aren't you? I think so. So the first one was the warm, that was shade bare. And this one is sugar, C. And I just, it just doesn't look, doesn't look right on me, it looks too pearly. Let's look at June. So this one is, as I said, neutral. Oh, I mean, I love that. It's probably slightly dark on me to be a, a true sort of um, neutral stroke nude to my skin tone. Look at that for a shade though. It's a peachy, spicy delight, that one. That's a keeper. Maybe we should test the theory on Red's look. Ouch, ouch. So we've got two bright sort of punchy reds here. We've got Poppy and we've got Blaze. And Poppy is warm tone and Blaze is cool tone. Let's do another little experiment, shall we? You see, that's beautiful, but I'm, I'm not drawn to it. I don't know, I just feel like something's slightly off with it. Let's try Poppy. You see, I love that so much more already. It's funny, I can't tell. Am I drawn to the warm, more neutral undertones because that's what suits me? Or is it because I just prefer the colours? Do I prefer the colours because I know subconsciously they suit me better? Oh, that is, that is gorgeous, isn't it? Good, I like the way they're going with this. I like the way that rather than just having this massive shades, it puts it into levels like you would with a foundation and it makes it easier for you to select the perfect shade. It's very, very clever. I don't know whether anyone else has done that, but they should. Gorgeous texture, juicy, smoothing, easy to apply. I mean, I haven't used red liner with this, and actually that just goes to reinforce what I said about the lip oil and the Rouge Coco Flash, is that with a bright color, I just, even if it isn't like the most definite line in the world, I just want to feel like I'm getting it in the right place. 
and with a rounded tip, I'm just not sure whether I get that. So I would much rather go for neutral shades, um, my lips but better shades with those, and then save my brights for something a bit more accurate and punchy. That's just me. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that ramble. I will find out and I'll put some more info on the Becca stuff below and find out how many shades there are in that range and also for the Bobbi Brown for you. Um, but a nice little mix, I think, there of luxury lipsticks. So if you're looking to invest, you want to know where to spend your money, then I think you know which ones were my favourites out of that. I mean, they're all beautiful. They're all beautiful. Um, but in this particular lineup, I think that the Becca, I think that system is so, so clever, choosing colour. All right, folks, nice to see you and uh, to see you nice. Bless him. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.